KG and Ringy Quick Hitter. Cappuccino. Three years, can you believe it? Stupid pandemic. Well, we finally got back to Italy and it was definitely worth the wait. The Detector Shop's huge Garrett contest takes place on the coast in Chesonatico, in case you didn't know, and we absolutely love doing this event. There were tons of prizes, including major Garrett detectors, KG and Ringy giveaways, there was a giant Ferris wheel, and of course the famous Detectorinas. In addition to their usual harassment of the participants during the different competitive heats, they performed several mini shows and dances this year. It just keeps getting better and better. How can you not love Italy? We had a phenomenal week of work, and I say work in quotations like Chris Farley spazzing out on SNL. The event itself was spectacular. We got to work with the kids as usual, training some budding detectorists on the beach. It's always fun watching them extract that first token or coin and seeing their eyes light up. downside was the rainstorm that hit in the afternoon, but other than that, we had postcard weather for everything else. We shot some new gear ads in the incredible Italian countryside, dined with our friends that we haven't seen in three years, and rode a Vespa off a cliff. I got this picture of an Indian peafowl, otherwise known as a peacock, while on a lunch break with a bunch of other animals as well. Cats, dogs, peacocks, chickens, goats, and such. And a Matthias. He was the rowdiest animal of all. And speaking of animals, Team Polo Morto made an appearance. Not sure how it all started, but a couple of miniature rubber chickens made their way back to the beach for a reunion. Yanni and his giant head showed up with Simona, and they brought us some fantastic gifts from Slovenia. Thanks to everyone that brought us stuff. Bottles of wine, chocolate, patches, all kinds of stuff. Too much to even mention. Some of the coolest things were these KG and Ringy Lego figures. Pretty cool. Mine even has a Cubs hat on. As long as we're on the subject, we managed to find the only guy in Italy that follows baseball. Leo is a Blue Jays fan, but I forgive him because he showed up in a Cubs jersey on day one with my old softball number and my name on the back. Ha! How awesome is that? He had a KG jersey on one night as well. So with all that going on, I thought it was only appropriate that we throw the ball around a little bit while we were waiting for the detector shop crew to gear up. In keeping with tradition, Leo dove in on the Italian language lessons during one of our lunch breaks. Needless to say, I'm not good at Italian. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. <laughs> no. 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 Cappuccino. Cappuccino. <laughs> Cappuccino. Cappuccino. Bravo. 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 Team. Vedi, Carlotta. Cappuccino. Carlotta. Eh. Carlotta è la moglie. Carlotta. 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 <laughs> the hospitality was off the charts. We had lunch on a mountaintop and a cookout party one night on another mountaintop. 
And whatever this flatbread stuff is, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So anyway, all I can say is, if you like traveling to detecting events and enjoy this sort of thing, you need to put the Garrett Contest in Italy on your calendar. It's one big fantastic party every single year. shaking off the jet lag at the moment, but I'm almost back to normal. Yeah, yeah, I can see the comments rolling in already. Anyway, I think I need a nap. See you next time. Ringy out. Quick hitter! Don't come back no more. <laughs> what? <laughs>